Well, hello, this is Cass WMS, or AKA Clay Cass, as my um, Etsy shop has me listed as. Um, I've got a live show this weekend. Hold on a sec. I I apologize. I was just a little parched and I had to take a sip of my water. But um, I have a a live or a pop-up event this weekend in, um, in Harlem, New York that I'll be doing. And it's the first time that I've done a live event in Harlem and let's see I've got to get a little bit of I thought there was some glue left in here in this bottle so let's see there is it's just about me getting it poured out I just the I messed up the top and I was like I want to use the last drop there it is. Of this stuff that I have. Because it was kind of expensive. I don't want to be too wasteful. So. I had a few little earrings that I was working on. And I thought. oh, Let me hurry up and get them glued. So that I could have them. For the weekend. And so. That is what I am doing this evening trying to glue some earrings that I have. Now this wooden set here was, um, I guess, a scrap. You know, just a little, something I made had these little star-like things cut out and I had a bigger one. And um, I used some um, embossing powder to color them. So I'm going to turn this into a charm. And so it's going to be a necklace and earring set. I also had some of these um, sunflower, not sunflowers. Yes, they are sunflowers. I had these little sunflower things laying around. I thought, uh, you know, there could be another part person out there just like me in love with sunflowers. So let me make me some little sunflower earrings. So I've got that, those done there. I've got a pair of little ones and then a pair of medium sized ones. Mm. So, um, and I don't know, I've been terrible with my crafting addiction. I've been making, but I have not stepped out on social media to, you know, do any live selling. And I need, I need to do that because ah, I just keep making, making, making. And at some point, you, a body does have too many earrings. And a body needs to get rid of or relinquish. Share. Yes, that's a better term. A person needs to share some of the earrings that they keep making. And in today's world, it takes some um, active sharing. These particular pink earrings, I kind of designed myself. And um, I 3D printed them on my um, 3D printer. 
and I, I really kind of like them. I think they're neat. I'm going to later on do some, um, maybe some darker fall colors with these earrings. But right now, I have these pink ones. And so I do need to put some earring backings on them and put them on some earring cards and try to share them with the world, help them find a new home. So I've got those glued and then, and I might have posted a, a video earlier. I also created these on my 3D printer. And this is going to be the texture side. And then I think, and this is what the, the non-texture side looks like with this particular pink one. So let's see. I think I said Yep, I'm going to glue the smooth side over here. And I don't know, I was a little disillusioned the other day. Um, I was watching YouTube and a young lady was talking about how people could um, start their own business on Etsy and make money and I'm embarrassed to say in some ways that I've been on Etsy I've been on Etsy a long time maybe I won't say how long yet <laughs> but a long time and I've not made a fortune but um, I have made some sales would like to make more sales and so there are some things that I have to do in order to acquire those cells. Learn to use those SEOs better. Uh oh, this mood. What did I think? Oh, I kind of wanted it in the middle. Let's see. Uh oh. Okay. Um, so that, that that's all that's on me. I have to do those better. But I was kinda bummed out when I saw that people were buying things in bulk that were made in China and then they were handmade in China, some of the items, because like I think the one main item that I saw was crocheted. So, ah, but maybe it might have been knitted. Now there are machines that can knit. I don't know about a crocheting machine. So I was a little disappointed to see that people were buying these things in bulk from Tivo and marking them up and selling them on Etsy. And I was like, wow, you know, here I am trying to sell my stuff. My stuff is handmade. Especially the jewelry is handmade. I've added some um, math manipulatives that I designed on my 3D printer and I am now trying to market and sell those. So as I was saying, the notion of other people buying things in bulk from um, Timu and then marking them up and selling them on Etsy was like, oh, that's a little disappointing. I could remember years ago when Etsy was in this small old building in downtown Brooklyn 
I think it was on Gold Street. And it had old-fashioned elevators. <laughs> I think you had the... Instead of having a door door, it had a gate. You know, and I remember riding up in this this elevator upstairs to the um, Etsy headquarters. And it was very humbling back then. It was a humble place. Um, I got really busy with work and wasn't able to really keep up with my shop for a while. And when I came back, there were all these people selling t-shirts that they had designed and someone else print it. Uh, I was like, ugh, I don't like that. That's really not handmade. And, you know. And so at that point, I realized Etsy had changed some of the ways they thought about things. So I now know that like I said earlier, I have to step up my game and do some different things myself. I'm not going to cheat this system and start selling non-handmade things. Um, right. and I will be making my handmade jewelry. I'm going to incorporate some of my um, 3D printed items. And I may even incorporate selling some of the files that I design myself, whether those digital files be SVGs or even um, 3D printed or 3D printing files, which are S STLs. I may even start creating some of those and offering them to people on Etsy. But um, this Mama Cass has got to do more and and in another avenue in the doing more I have to start being more consistent with my YouTube channel so that will have to happen also but I wanted to glue these together so that I would have them for the weekend and I thought it would be nice to Found two more pairs. I've, I've got some. Now these need a little cleaning up. But I think I can glue them. And I don't know. I have mixed emotions about the shiny side versus the texture side. I think I want to have a set of shiny side. And hopefully i got enough glue still on here that I can glue those so I'm going to have to find me a regular time and then sit down do my little videos and then upload them to my YouTube channel so that you and others and see the possibilities. Uh-oh. I don't know if I got enough glue there. Probably not. Woohoo. I have to try to pour out a little more. And it's um a little dangerous pouring it out because you don't want to get it on your skin. It says well, a lot of these um, glues say um, instant bonding. That, that term instant only applies to human skin. Every, everything else takes a little longer. Everything else takes a, whole, a little longer. Matter of fact, a lot longer. In, in comparison to the to the human skin, I mean, you touch this stuff to your skin, you are 
oh, you know what? I think I said I wanted to do the shiny side. See? Not even paying attention. Okay, okay, okay. So, it will instantly glue flesh to flesh. And then I think I was... Yes, I was watching this other jewelry creator, Crazy Matt, and he was saying, if you get the glue on your hand, don't, or on your skin, don't wipe, you know, your skin with skin. Wipe it like on a fabric. Your jeans, if you're ready to ruin them or maybe have a rag nearby that you can wipe them on. He said that's the way to get it off your skin and not glue yourself together. So, it's late tonight. And I'm going to say to the Lou, um, I hope you enjoy the little bit of content that I shared this evening. And we'll continue. I see this one really. See, see what I mean? I think this was among the first that I glued, and it's sliding all over. Got to try to prop it up so it doesn't slide. Yep. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, good evening. I I hope you gained a little something, or at least was entertained by the short chit chat I had with you this evening and I hope you decide that you want to come back if this is your first time and um, if you're my returning follower thank you for following me and coming back and supporting me I really do appreciate that matter of fact I think um, I'm going to have to do a giveaway and I talked about doing a giveaway and I need to figure out how to do it and get it done because there have been some people who have stuck with me for a good while and it would be nice to, um, give them something tangible <laughs> from me also. Um, so I'm going to be trying to figure that out. So I want to say thank you very much for being here. And I'm going to be making more, more and more videos of the things that I, I'm doing. Ah. So I'm going to have to, um, I had a friend whose daughter just had a big birthday. And I was like, oh, I saw these earrings and I thought I'd print them up for her. And they say, sweet 16. And then I remember, oh, no, she's only 15. She had a quinceanera um, in the DR this summer. And I was like, oh, I wish she'd have had it here so we could have gone and celebrated with her here. But she had it down there with her mom and her grandmother's family. So. This is Cass, or a.k.a. Clay Cass, and actually my full first name is Cassandra. Signing off for this evening, um, this too is a little something that I learned to do on my 3D printer. And um, so I will have to do a video and show you how I made that possible. Matter of fact, I use Silhouette um, Studio. And I created my name, and then I took it into Tinkercad, and um, created the STL file, and printed it up on my printer, my bamboo printer. So yeah, the things that we can do once we sit down and work on learning how to do new and better things. So I'm going to say goodnight this time for good. Uh, <laughs> So good night, take care, and see everyone later. Bye-bye.